Hi there everybody, my name is Heratoga and welcome back to our survival season in Vintage Story. We got some chores to do today folks, I know, but I can't hold it off any longer. Uh, my chores are stacking up and I've got quite a little list and we, we have to do these things and I think this episode will show some of you who don't know the game very well uh, the kind of things you have to keep doing uh, to keep your supplies restocked um, because there's some things there's some resources that you're always going to need that are basic resources like grass and sticks and logs that kind of stuff so yeah we've got some chores to do today and I've got to get them done so we can uh, chill out and uh, put your feet up relax and enjoy and I'll just get on with it and I'll I'll plow for all the chores so the jobs we've got on the list we need oak logs because in the next episode I want to build our armory so we're gonna need oak logs for that and we're really short uh, on oak logs uh, I need to get some charcoal made which means we're gonna have to go out and find a big old redwood tree chop it down and make a ton of firewood we also need sticks, grass, clay, I need to feed the chickens I need to grind up some lime um, I need to bloom some more magnetite uh, I could do with fertilizing the crops I've got to harvest the bees uh, squeeze out some honey and if I've got time I can make a couple of mining sacks uh, ready to do some lead mining in the future because we need windows for our new house over there and to make windows you need lead so yeah it's quite a little list so uh right let's get on with it shall we <laughs> ah what a beautiful day to get these jobs done all right now i'm going to borrow my supply chest here because uh, this is where we're going to build the armory um, i've taken all the building supplies out of here so I'm just going to borrow this and we're going to take it over here where these big oak trees are. Um, we've got some walnuts there but there's a couple of really big oak trees. Hair drifters. The underground. <laughs> I swear we need to check out that cave soon. But yes. Um, just a moment ago, I did spot a bighorn sheep asleep right near that birch tree there. So that's good to know that they're around. But anyway, there's a big oak tree there. And there's one right here. We are in wolf territory, so we've got to be careful here. So just so that we can run away faster, let's just plonk our chest down here. And yeah, I'm not going to collect any... Uh, sticks from these tree leaves because we've got some more oak trees over there where we're going to build our armory so i can get some sticks from those so let's get chopping hopefully it's not going to calculate all these tree leaves and end up using my axe to <laughs> de-leaf all these linked up trees here because all the leaves are touching so let's see how this goes I'm going to stay over here because I don't want to go too close over there and uh, upset any wolves. Hey, hey. nice. Oh, I love all the particles. I just love that popping noise when you collect blocks and things. It's just so satisfying. <laughs> oh. I hope there's a little rabbit skeleton there. Oops. Huh? I'm trying to pick up that stick. Ah. <laughs> Uh, I suppose we better chop the rest of this down, haven't we? There. 
Okay. Well, we can chuck all of this wood in there. I think that's enough oak wood for now. Yeah, it's definitely enough to get that build done in the next episode, so... We'll pick this up, sling it on our back, and we'll put this wood away. We need the old scythe because we need to get some uh, grass. So we'll take that and we need to get some sticks. Yep, I think that's it. I'll take the shovel anyway because we are going to go and get some clay. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so there's some more oak wood over here and we've got a rift as well lovely so yeah I, I can get these leaves uh, just just like the bottom layers of all these trees and I can just chop them down so uh, it's a good way of collecting sticks get yourself some shears and cut some leaves down you get tons of sticks doing doing this Oh yeah, I forgot about this place. <laughs> Can you remember when we first moved over here and there was a load of uh, sandstone ruins? Um, and I flattened them all out and covered them up with dirt. Well, one of the ruins had a basement and I totally forgot about it and I left it open. So, yeah, let's see if we can get in there. Is that low fertility soil? What? Doesn't look like soil to me. Well, let's punch it away and see if we can get in. Oh. 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 Well, there's nothing much in here, is there? <laughs> there's broken anvil. Some cobwebs. Some metal scraps. Ah. Yeah. Okay, well, that's that then. How are we going to get back out? Uh, can I punch this away? Uh oh. Let's see if I can grab this block of dirt here. Yes. Hey. <laughs> there we go. All right. Carry on with my chores. <laughs> Think that's enough sticks for a while. Um, we've got a big bunch of sticks now. That'll keep us going for a for a long while. Um, but yeah, oak trees, man, they seem to be the best trees to get sticks from because they've got such a huge leaf coverage, and with shears, it is so easy. <laughs> so yeah, guys, if you can plant. A load of oak trees in a field near your base uh, or near your home and uh, you'll have an easy supply of sticks there you go and you get a bunch of oak seeds as well so when you chop your trees down you could just replant them 51 oak seeds and I've hardly touched the leaves <laughs> all right let's get these put away Uh, actually, we're not really desperate for grass, but I could cut a bit of grass anyway. Just because it's chore day. Uh, let's put these oak seeds in here. Oh man, we've got so many oak seeds. Alright, to bed. Time for some breakfast. Nom nom nom. Nice. Yep, Naruto is still doing well. One day he'll probably escape by 
phasing through the window like he got in in the first place, but uh, yeah, rest in peace, Bouncer. <laughs> Naruto, you little smaghead. Alright, well, time to cut the grass, but I'm going to wait till uh, daylight first. Alrighty, so for firewood. Okay, so the best tree to chop down if you want to make firewood, uh, that's if you're near any of these trees, of course, is, is redwood trees. Because they're so tall and huge. When you chop them down, you get, you get so much wood, you can't even pick it all up, which is why I've got a chest on my back. So, yeah, there's not too far away. There's some redwood trees over there. So I'm just going to make my way over there now. And uh, I'll meet you over there, folks. Oh, well, we're not fighting today. <laughs> All right, see you in a minute. Alrighty, and there is our redwood tree. Look at all that lovely wood. Ho ho ho. Hopefully we'll get a seed so we can plant one near our house, which would be nice. Now, I have been over here before and I have seen a bear, so we're just going to have to be really careful. Okay. Oh. Any movement is going to like startle me because I'm going to think it's a bear. <laughs> Alright, let's get this uh, big mother tree chopped down. I think we're safe around here. In fact, let's put our chest down first. That way, if a bear does see us, we can just run away. <laughs> Alrighty, there we go. Uh oh. I hear bees. I think I destroyed a bee's nest by accident. <laughs> I forgot to cut the grass, didn't I? I, I just came straight out here to get firewood. We'll, we'll cut the grass. My bad boy. Not doing my chores. I don't know. Oh my goodness, this this one up here to oh boy. Man, that would make a nice table. Damn. <laughs> I may have to do that. Oh. What are you doing? What there's a rooster chasing me! There's me worried about bears and a rooster is gunning for me. What the, the, hey, leave me alone. Okay, we're going to have to chop this maple tree down because I think there's some more logs up there that we need. Ah, those bees are after that hen over there. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I knew it. There we go. Oh, there was a bee's nest in that tree because I've just got some... Honeycomb, oh no. Well, we didn't get any seeds from that redwood tree. Oh, it's a pig. I thought I heard a bear then. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's chop this maple down as well. Yeah, the best way to get tree seeds is to shear all of the leaves. That is the best way uh, to get uh, the seed for that tree. So, yeah, I, I just, maybe I should be doing that really. <laughs> Oops, don't want to put that in there. There we go. Uh, oh man, we've got so much. See, look at, this is just from that one tree. Look at all this redwood. It can't all fit in a chest. So it's a good job we brought this. Well, I can't chop down another redwood because I'm not going to be able to take all of the wood back. So, uh, do I take this? Of course, let's take this. Okay, we'll leave that. Alright, let's get back home, put this wood in the charcoal uh kilns and uh, and then we'll cut the grass 
Right, we're back home. And I think I'm going to feed the chickens on the way to the storage room. So, yeah, I placed one of our uh, vessels down here. I chose the red one because I thought it would look uh, more fitting with the colours we've got going on here. So, let's, uh, let's go and feed the chickens. Chick, 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 chick. Alrighty, there we go. I still need to add an edge on the inside of here to make sure they can't just like popcorn out of this place. Let's check these. Yeah. Have we got any in here? I know there's eggs in here, but are they fertilised? Yeah, there's three fertile eggs. Four days. Three days. No eggs. What? No fertile eggs. Can I take those? <gasps> And five days, okay. Well, fed the chickens and got a few eggs. There we go. Uh, let's put that in there, that in there. See, th these seeds are good for 1.4 years, just sitting here in this vessel. All right, let's get these. Uh... Uh, in fact, we've got to stack it up uh, in, the, in the charcoal pits, haven't we? I was going to put this wood away, but yeah. We need to uh, stack it up here. So what I'm going to do is stand in the middle. In fact, I need to set the chest off first. Plant this down there. We'll get this quarter log stuff here. We'll just turn that into firewood. And we'll save our precious redwood logs there for something else. Um, put those eggs in there. Okay, so... Let's stand in the middle, get our axe, and we'll just keep doing this. That way if any uh, of the firewood falls on the floor it doesn't matter because as we're stacking it we'll collect it. Okay, well we had enough space, damn. <laughs> All right. There we go. That's full. Now let's put the door on. I literally have a shovel. Come on. Uh, we need four firewood for the top. Uh, we need some grass as well. Let's just get some grass. <laughs> oh. So now, if we go around the back, climb the ladder, <clears throat> punch out the middle square. In fact, I'll punch out this one first, because I want to collect the middle one that's about to fall in the hole. Okay, there we go. Let's put that one back. Now put a piece of grass down, we'll put some firewood on there, there we go. Now when you like this you get 30 seconds to plug up the hole, uh, if you're too late then it will burn away all your wood so we're just going to light this now. I think it's lit, I'll just plug up the hole. <laughs> Okay, so we've got some charcoal on the go. Now, if you do see black smoke coming out of your roof, um, then you know you've done it right. So, we'll just wait a sec. Okay, I see black smoke. Yes, okay, we've done it right. So, we can leave that one now. Have we got... M yeah, we've got a little bit more firewood, but I think we'll keep that. I think the charcoal that's in this one kiln here will be enough for now okay so the, the rest of this firewood we can stack it in the uh, in the fuel station that we have so let's go and uh, do that and we need to keep a couple of stacks for our house over there for for the ovens so we can make some more pie because all my red meat pie is literally about to go off so <laughs> mm. 
Alright. Let's go and put this wood in the house. In the house! There we go. Sweet! Now we've got plenty of firewood for our ovens uh, when we want to make some more pie. And we've got some charcoal on the go. We've got plenty of oak logs. So, uh, oh, and we fed the chickens. Okay, so let me tick some of these off. Right, charcoal, done. Oh, yeah, we've got to cut the grass. Right, we've fed the chickens. Uh, okay, so let's cut the grass. We've got our hoe. Because the grass is getting a bit long, so... All you have to do is just click once and uh, I think I think it cuts the grass in like a three by three area so try and get the best coverage as you can with the hoe scythe I keep calling it a hoe it's a scythe <laughs> juicy berries man these have been done for so long we need to turn this into wine that's what we need to do we need to get a brewery station on the go get all these berries turned into wine yeah that way when next time we go mining we can do drunk mining <laughs> that'll be amusing There we go, and then we've cut, we've cut the grass, another chore down. Okay, I'll leave those those free, few bits there. So another thing you can do with this scythe is you can use it to cut down cattails and tule. So you don't have to use a knife, you, you know, you, can, you don't have to do it by hand, one at a time, you can just scythe it all down with a scythe. How easy is that? It's probably quicker with the knife, but yeah, depends how skilled you are in knives. <laughs> all right, there we go. We've broke our scythe and we've still got a little bit more cattails to to get. So let's just grab our new one. We we'll chop the rest of those down. There's no point doing half a chore, is there? Half a job, George. I ain't no half a job, George. Okay. Come on. Killing two birds with one stone here. Or well, I have been, because... I'm cutting the grass and I'm cutting our cattails at the same time. I'm going above and beyond the call of duty. There we go, last one. Zoink. Okay, grass cut. Cattails cut. Man, we're ploughing through our chores today. So another two ticked off the list. So we'll put that scythe not a hoe back up there and we'll get this grass pot away blip 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 is that the only grass we we got let me just check our chest we've got to empty the chest anyway oh okay we've got sticks eggs blah 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 We're going to harvest the bees and squeeze some honey. Okay. Well, for that we're going to need clay. Which we only have a little bit of. But we can use fire clay, I think. And we need cattails. Whoops. So let's see how many beehives we can make here. We can make eight. Let's 
Oh no, we can make four. Okay, I I have to remember it's half of what it says. Okay, right. So we got five. We can only harvest five skeps. I mean that's okay. It's okay. But we we did get this bit of honeycomb here, so. Um. Yeah, so about bees, right? You know, they, they sometimes sting you when you harvest the bees. Well, you can make... You can make a scarecrow. Or is it a dummy? It's, it's called a dummy in this. Okay, there. A straw dummy. So two hay blocks and a stick. Uh, do we have any hay blocks? No, but we've got plenty of grass now. Yeah, so we can make some. Two hay blocks. Oh, and a stick. And a stick. So if you put a, if you put a dummy down in your apiaries, they'll most likely attack the dummy rather than you. So if you don't have like cloth armor or anything like that in the game. Uh, you can put a dummy down in your apiary and they'll they'll concentrate on stinging the dummy rather than you because <laughs> collectively bees you know they can really suck your health right down you know if you've got like four or five clusters of bees attacking you at once you know <laughs> with no armor on you have to keep an eye on your health there so all right, meet you at the apiary, guys. Alrighty, first light, and we are at the apiary. So, where are we going to put our dummy? Hmm. Hmm. It's going to take up one spot. Can we place it here? <gasps> we can place it right there on the corner of a step. Okay, well, we're doing it. <laughs> so we've got five skeps that we can... Uh, we can do here so let's just get these on our hot bar okay well uh, maybe I should do the ones near the dummy yeah let's try that um, okay get the dummy yeah look at that <laughs> five hundred IQ <laughs> hey, vintage story is easy now. <laughs> uh, watch me get killed by a bear in the next five minutes. There we go. Uh -huh. Get the dummy. Okay, fences. OP. <laughs> it stops anything. Uh, okay, right, so we've done the honey thing. Now we've got to squeeze all this out. And uh, we've got some cattails back. I forgot about that. So uh, let's get on down to the cellar. Squeeze out some honey. Alrighty. Let's get some light. Uh, oh, we need a bucket, don't we? Oh. It's a shame you can't just squeeze it straight into the barrel, you know, because a barrel is literally a massive bucket. <laughs> but hey ho, it is what it is. Okay, pump the bucket down. Okay, shift and click. Okay, shift and right click. It's because it it didn't say it on the information there on the screen. Can you see there? And I had to remember. And I'm holding a lantern as well. <laughs> we'll squeeze all this out. Now honey, remember some of you. Uh, honey never goes off. So once you've got honey, that's it. You've, you've got it until you delete your world. Because it never goes bad. And you can turn honey into mead. And you can use honey for cooking as well. Okay, so let's do that. Boop. 
Okay, we've got 18.4 litres of honey. Lovely jubbly. And we've got 19 beeswax out of that. And we can use those to seal crock pots, uh, which is excellent because uh, it's better than using fat to seal your crock pots. Because fat is harder to come by. But if you've got a bee apiary, you're laughing. Okay, we're going to put our bees wax in this drawer here there we go and you can also turn these into candles right, right there you go we've got a candle <laughs> uh we'll put that in here somewhere we did acquire a chandelier in the last episode and they take about eight candles so uh, we'll use that soon in our new house and uh, that ruined village in the desert I went past that yesterday, uh, so I thought I'd call in and pick up those two books that I left there in the bookshelves. Uh, they didn't give me anything, but uh, we have them now, so... Okay, uh, eggs. Oh, we, we need to store the eggs that we got down here. Uh, let's just put them in this pot on their own. Four days in there. So 18 days in there, okay, we'll use those soon, we'll, we'll cook something out of that. Okay, plop bucket back down, okay, right, what else have we got left? So, we have harvested the bees, we've squeezed out the honey, we could try and fertilise the crops with that saltpetre that we found in the last episode and i've been putting the fertilizer uh, in this vessel here near our farm so i'm not sure if you can fertilize a crop once it's already established but we'll see um so yeah flax takes k and saltpeter gives the k nutrients so let's see let's just see oh you can <laughs> Okay, we're going to fertilise all this, and that's going to make this flax grow even quicker. Nice. Alright, flax is uh, fertilised. And you can put like more than one bit of fertiliser down. You... Okay, I've got none left. But yeah, you, you can. <laughs> I've done it before. I think it's like up to three times or something. Uh, and then bone meal, if you crush bones down, that gives you the N, the N, uh, nutrient. So, uh, it's always good to get, to get the bones, guys. Don't leave them behind when you go hunting. Alright, so, fertilised the crops. Now we can bloom some magnetite. Let's go and grab some magnetite and get some more iron blooms on the go. And we'll get these lit. So we've got charcoal and iron blooms cooking while we're doing the rest of these chores. Okay, let's put this coal away. Okay, well, clay and grinding lime. Oh, I know some of the chores are boring, but you've got to do it. <laughs> Just put the rest of these cattails away. There we go. Okay, now we're going to check the map and see uh, if we've got any more clay nearby. So, okay, there's some fire clay down there. Okay, so we've got fire clay and blue clay down there. They're pretty close. You know, we live right here, so it's not too far away. Uh, up north, there's plenty of uh, blue clay uh, up there. So I think... I think we're better off going southwest. Because there's blue clay there. And fire clay there. It's, they're not too... Oh, in fact, there's blue clay there. Oh, wow, that's even closer. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I'll, I'll mark that and I'll mark this one, which is already marked. OK. All right, well, go and get some uh, clay then. <laughs> Well, we made it at the blue clay deposit, but we've got a rift right next to us, and we need quite a bit of this blue clay. So we may have to fight for it. Alrighty, I think we've got enough blue clay for now. Maybe I can just get the rest of this bit here uh, and then we'll uh, get back home. Put all this clay away. Alrighty, fire clay. Uh, blue clay. That's so, and they're so satisfying when you restock your suppliers. <laughs> we even got a bit of resin. Um, there's a few new resin trees are marked on the map. And we've got some cattails. I thought I'd get a few of those. And some flowers as well. Okay. All right. So we've got clay. Well, there's only one more. No, there's two more jobs on the list. One, grinding some uh, lime, which we have plenty of limestones in here. And two, making two mining sacks. Uh, two, ready to go uh, lead mining with. And for that we need to make two tin bronze plates. All right, plate's done. I ran out of wind on the last plate, so I had to smith it myself. Okay, so we go like this, and we've got two mining sacks now. Yes, there we go. Another job down. Where are we going to store these? Ah. I suppose we'll just... I'll keep hold of them for now, and that'll remind me that we have them. Okay, right. I'm gonna have to fight some drifters when we go out here, because I want to check on the charcoal and see if it's done yet. It should be. Just get something to eat. There we go. Uh, I better put my armour on, hadn't I? <laughs> my pyjamas. Oh, he had money. I'll take that. Nice. Uh, we'll just ignore that one. Um, I think it's done. I mean, it should be done by now. Yeah, it is definitely done. Yeah, it's done. Nice. All right. Get rid of this crop. Go away. Go away. <laughs> okay. So the fastest way to mine charcoal is just get your shovel out. Just get your shovel out and give it a good shovel and see look how quick that is. It's better than using your fists. <laughs> oh, it's a bit up there. But yes, we got charcoal as well. Oh man, we've done so well. There, all gone. Hey, hey. we've got two and a half stacks. That's that's pretty good. I can't complain at that. I'm going to just put this in here. There we go, the fuel box. There. We just need some more brown coal soon. But uh, we can put away this shovel because we don't need this anymore. And 
there we go we've got uh, all our jobs done today so i can mark off the mining sacks i'm glad we've got those now um so thank you sylvius by the way for reminding me about those mining sacks because i keep forgetting about them you know <laughs> Yeah, all I've got left to, to do now is just grind some lines. So while I'm doing this, I can do the outro. So but this is what it's like in Vintage, you know, when you've got all these jobs to do. But I like doing it. It's relaxing. It's peaceful. Um, it takes your mind off all your other things you've got to do, um, like exploring and caving, dungeoneering and building. Um, yeah, it's, it's nice to, to let your job stack up and then, uh, yeah, it's nice and relaxing. So, all right, well, I'm going to call the episode there. Glad we've got all these tasks done. Um, hopefully it's been helpful for some of you. <laughs> and if you've enjoyed our adventure so far, then be sure to like, share, comment and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section and I'll be sure to answer them. Until the next time, folks, goodbye.